What is up, everybody? I hope you're all doing well. Today, we are checking out my very own personal James Tyler Guitars Studio Elite HD. She is a looker. <laughs> um, as I mentioned, this is my uh, personal uh, instrument. I'll give you a little bit of disclosure and kind of backstory. I've been a James Tyler guitar fan for years. Um, you know, Landau was playing them, Dan Huff was playing them. That's kind of how I discovered them. Uh, and, and they're just absolutely amazing guitars. Um, I've had a couple uh, in the past and, you know, unfortunately, you know, being a musician, uh, there is a roller coaster that you end up on sometimes. And, and you know, things can, can go a bit south financially, just in and out of work. And unfortunately, you know, you end up having to sell, you know, prized possessions to, you know, make the mortgage payment or, you know, feed your kids. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I didn't think I'd ever really own one again, to be honest with you, because they are not an inexpensive guitar and rightfully so, because they are just incredibly well crafted instruments. Um, but, you know, this has been about two years in the making, actually. And I, I've, you know, I've known James for a really long time. I've known Rich Rankin for a really long time. Uh, they reached out to me to uh, basically just to offer to give me a, an instrument and and there was really no strings attached uh, whatsoever. They just said we want to want you to have a Tyler back in your hands to just enjoy and and they knew you know that I, I really do love the guitars. So uh, you know they didn't ask me to do a video about it but but I want to because it's such a cool guitar. I want to talk about it. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm incredibly blessed. Um, actually, still kind of in shock. I've had this guitar for about a month now, and I still kind of think I'm in some sort of a a dreamscape. It's alder body. It is a quarter sawn maple neck. It's a rosewood fretboard. The uh, pickups are James Tyler pickups. They're the singles are 5500s. The humbucker is uh, a super. We'll get into how those sound in the demo. Uh, the uh, the bridge is a Goto bridge, I believe. Feels great, intonates perfect. I did specifically ask for the uh, the rolled saddles as opposed to the more kind of block style saddles. I just I just like that sound. I like how they ring. Uh, so that's what's going on with that. It does have uh, an active circuit on it. We'll check that out. Uh, volume and tone control, five way switch in that uh, bridge. And, or, yeah, bridge and middle position. It does uh, tap. I believe it's tap. Mind me might be split. Oh, what else? Oh, hip shot tuners. And I, I've always really liked those tuners. Um, the contours on the back are absolutely beautiful. Um, one thing I will say that is just so Tyler, not only is the, the fretwork just stellar, stellar, stellar fretwork, and the setup is really, really good. But one of the things they do is they roll the fret edges um, so that the guitar feels more played in right away. It, it just feels like this guitar has been around a lot longer than it has. And, and, you know, the neck shape on this is the, it's the standard 59 neck shape. And to me, that's not too big. Uh, I think it's an inch and five eighths nut. Um, I'm almost positive that's correct. Um, but it just feels great. You know, they have all kinds of different neck shapes, but that's, that's what I went with. It's maybe just a little bigger, uh, than like a normal like C shape it's you know, but it, it's really really comfortable But anyways uh, back to the fret uh, fretboard these rolled fret edges just make all the difference It's really subtle. It's not like you know, it's not scalloped I've heard you know, you either know or you don't but I've heard guys say yeah, the Tylers have scalloped fretboards it's like no, they don't <laughs> No, but they uh, they do roll the edges so it feels more like an old guitar and it's fabulous. Oh, I will say, uh, I think this one's around 7.5 or 7.7. 7. I'd have to get out the spec sheet. You know, maybe I'll take a picture of the spec sheet and put it at the end of the video or something so you guys can, can read all the specs on it. But yeah, uh, without further yammering on, let's, uh, let's check out how this baby sounds. Okay, I'm going to stay on a basic kind of clean sound so that we can, uh, you know, get into how these pickups sound. Um, we'll go through the pickups. I'll address this uh, boost circuit as well. So here is uh, the neck position. We'll start there. Uh, neck and middle.
here's the middle position. Here is the middle and bridge position, and I believe uh, I want to say it taps automatically in that position, the, uh, the bridge pickup. And of course the bridge pickup, which is wide open humbucker. So all three of these pickups have a, uh, an amount of compression to them, but they feel, uh, they still sound open, though they do uh, have a bit of compression. Now the, the humbucker is darker, but I do like it within this combination. And that's, you know, it's really to each his own. I'm not gonna change the pickups out in this guitar. I'm gonna leave it alone. I like it the way it is, um, because it is different um, than my other uh, uh, single, single hum guitar. <laughs> Okay, let's check out this boost circuit. Now, quite honestly, I wasn't that keen on it when I tried it, mainly because I just felt like it was it was it was adding too much kind of a low end. And I know a lot of guys really love this circuit, especially for single note soloing. And, and maybe we can check that out later. Um, so here's here's what I did. I'm just going to turn the boost circuit up. Well, here I'll just turn it on, and then I'll turn it up, and you guys can hear what's going on. So not only does it boost the pickups overall, but it also adds a lot of top end and low end, which is okay for single uh, single notes. That's back humbucker. That's with it off. Here's on. And for me, I, I just didn't feel like I would use that as much. But what I did discover, and and you know, it, it kind of awakened something in me was I veered away years ago from like passive pickups, or I should say, active pickups. Um, I just you know really started digging passive pickups just because of the way they felt and responded. Um, but the one thing that's really cool about this circuit is um, you don't have to, to boost necessarily. When you just turn it on, it basically turns the whole setup from a passive setup to an active setup. So check it out, without rolling this boost on at all, I'm just gonna, uh, you know, uh, I'll just strum it like an open chord and I'll just turn this, uh, this switch on. <laughs> So it automatically adds this really pretty kind of chime up top and, and it still, you know, spreads out the low end, but not overly so. That I really dig and that's, I think, really useful uh, for me. And that's, you know, I actually uh, employed that to get that uh, sound, that second guitar, the... Uh And all I did uh, was turn on like a back and forth delay. I can turn that on really quick.
if I turn that off, the uh, the boost here's off. Still sounds really pretty, but with it on. It's just all that really cool chiminess uh, is there. It kind of turns this whole picket guard assembly into two separate rigs, which is really nice. So that's how I uh, employ that, and that's how I would use it. Um, like I said, to be brutally honest, I didn't like it at first, but I really like it with it just off and just basically turning the assembly into an active um, assembly. It's not something I would use all the time. Let me shut that back off. But, um, but it is uh, very useful, especially for sessions and what have you. Okay, so I can turn on uh, an overdrive pedal. I'll, I'll turn on the one that I used uh, for the, uh, that opening uh, bit, you know. You know, there's single coil hum because there's no, uh, you know, dummy coils or anything like that. It's just, you know, pretty much wide open single coil. And there's a compression to these pickups that, that feels really good, but they don't sound overly compressed. They still have a nice open top end, especially with an overdrive. And just overall, they're really just big sounding. Uh, now I can throw back to the humbucker. Now this humbucker is a little bit darker, especially than what I'm used to, but I'm not gonna change it out because I, I really like it within this assembly. you know, you can roll the volume off, especially on the singles. Soften them up a little bit. Here's wide open. It's backed off a little bit. And then, you know, here's where you could employ that boost. So that's a little boomy, but for single notes, here's off. Here's on. So I could see uh, how it would be usable for single note stuff. It's a little boomy for me, uh, you know, rolled up, but I do. Uh, like it as a single coil, or I should say for single notes. Um, but even just, once again, just making the circuit active. That sounds really good. Without rolling anything up at all, I think that's really usable. So there you have it. It's my Tyler uh, Studio Elite HD. If you've got any other questions about it, go to the Tyler website and uh, and check it out. As always, I really appreciate you guys uh, tuning into my channel. If you like the content, if you're new to the channel and you like the content especially, please hit that subscribe button and, and ring the bell and, and please uh, leave a comment and or a like. Uh, because it, it really helps my channel and honestly it just helps the algorithm 
uh, put my channel out there. So that would be much appreciated. I hope you're all doing well, and we will see you next time.